Okay, so today I wanted to share a story with you that I hope that will help somebody out there. And it's going to be about self-love and learning to accept yourself. And what kind of inspired this was I read a little quote and it really resonated with me. And basically it said, I wish I was as skinny as I was when I thought I was fat. So basically it's that thing that you always feel like you're not good enough. And for me in this case, it's to do with my body and the way that I look. And it's just one of those things where I actually came to realize that no matter what, I always feel like I'm not good enough. And for the longest time now, for years, I've been trying to go on a journey to learn to love myself and accept myself because I was just sick and tired of hating myself. And even after losing 50 pounds, I still thought I needed to keep going. I still thought I wasn't good enough. And in order to find the root of the problem, if you don't like yourself, you need to figure out why. What is it that's causing you to feel that way? And for me, it was emotional, but I had to dig really, really deep. I had to look inside me and think, what is it that made me feel like I always have to keep working hard to be this idea of perfection that just doesn't exist? And I realized it's because my dad just was never there. He just didn't want to stick around. And I constantly was trying to be a better person and get better. And actually, my weight loss journey started when my dad just disappeared and I had no idea where he'd gone. And I thought, OK, maybe I should start losing weight. Maybe I should just become as perfect as I possibly can. And maybe he'll want to stick around. And that was so damaging to me. And that's something I've only just realized because I have so many reasons why I decided to start losing weight. And I realized that's one of the reasons that I used and I didn't even realize. And I thought, no, that isn't right to think that I'm not good enough just because one person didn't want to be in my life all the time and would just pick and choose when they wanted to be in my life. And once I got that reason and I knew why I kept trying to be good enough, I was like, you know what, I am good enough. And I was, I've just been on a journey of learning to love myself. So if there's anybody out there right now who doesn't feel good enough, just know that you are good enough and you don't have to be perfect because it doesn't even exist. And if perfect did exist, then you would be perfect because no one else can be anything like you. And I just wanted you all to know that and share my story that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I just wanted you all to know that because there are so many people that are constantly trying to be better, which is okay because we're human and you always want to be the best you, but just know that right now, like this is my first, like my favorite word to say, but I always say that everybody is luscious because I feel like the word luscious just, yes, yes. So I just wanted you all to know that and share my story, but it has taken me so long to get to this point. Like I can't even believe I'm on a stage and I'm talking to like loads of people and I used to literally look in the mirror and cry at what I used to see and I'm here now and I just want you all to know that it's possible to get to this point where you love yourself and you believe in yourself. So I just wanted to read you a poem which you may have heard. It's by Maya Angeli and um, it's called phenomenal woman. So, pretty women wonder where my secret lies. I'm not cute or built to suit a fashion model size. But when I start to tell them they think I'm telling lies, I say, it's in the reach of my arms, the span of my hips, the stride of my steps, the curl of my lips. I'm a woman, phenomenally, phenomenal woman. That's me. <laughs> so when you leave today, I want you guys to continue to think about one thing that you love about yourself and just to keep that in your mind and just continue to just, just love yourself, okay? Because you're all super luscious and I hope you know that. So thank you for listening. And yeah, stay healthy and stay luscious. Bye.